Hi guys, it's Kay and welcome back to my YouTube channel. For today's vlog, I'm going to share to you tips on how to share. How to share. <laughs> ulit, ulit. Hi guys, it's Kay and welcome back to my YouTube channel. For today's vlog, I'm going to share to you tips on how to remain or stay productive. <laughs> So for today's vlog guys, I have prepared the 9 simple tips na baka pwede nyong i-apply sa inyong life at present when you're too busy or when you are a student. Kasi itong vlog na to ay isa sa mga highly requested ng aking um, friends and at the same time students kung saan bakit nga ba daw um, some people remain productive or personally how do I remain productive. So I came up with 9 simple tips that might help all of you and shout out nga pala kay Arafi Zuhaydi for being able to come up with this idea. Idea niya po ito and ako ay gumagawa ng vlog ngayon because this was highly suggested by him. He was my former student in 2015 and ngayon magkasama kay kami sa university. So ayan, I have 9 tips for all of you. If you're ready, keep on watching. So, the first tip that I would like to give you will be, number one, it's to know your goals and list them down. In our busy schedules for the week or for the day, remember to know your goals. You always have to be guided by this. Diba? Kung sa kahit anong ang ginagawa natin sa life, we always have a goal and we plan out how to achieve that goal. The same, the same goes for how you will do things for your day or for the week. List them down by using a notebook and a pen. Kung ayaw mo naman magsulat, meron naman tayong gadgets, meron tayong phone, use the Notes app or even your laptop. You could use apps like Google Keeps and uh, mga notes jan online and save it so that later on for the week, check it out if you are working on it or not. Number two, if you have already list down your goals, then it's important that you set your timeline. Ilang araw mo nga ba gagawin itong task na to? Ilang araw mo nga ba gagawin itong binigay ni teacher? Or is it the deadline now? So, know that and set your timeline for the specific task. The third one is to set your deadline. So, for example, walang binigay si teacher na deadline sa sa'yo or si boss na walang deadline ang binigay sa isang output na kailangan mong gawin but still, you have to make your personal deadline. Bakit? Because doing your deadline or knowing your deadline would set a limit for the things that you need to do so that you could focus on the next things that you need to do for the week or for the day. So, the fourth one is to get rid of your distractions. Bakit nga ba importante ito? Because you thought you're so productive pero may nakita kang chat ni friend, ni friendship doon sa iyong messenger or sa iyong social media account. Nakalimutan mo na ka agad. Oh, no! Therefore, you really have to get rid of distractions. Kasi importante yan for you to remain focused. And then, kung gusto mong malaman on how to remain undistracted despite this many disturbances around us because we are in a pandemic, we work from home, we study from home, Comment down below para magawan ko siya ng separate video. Next is, given na ginagawa mo na yung mga kailangan mong gawin, I have the 50 for you. For you. For you. For you. Oh. Next is, given na ginagawa mo na yung goals mo, okay ka na, you are not distracted, you're listing down, you have listed down what you needed to do. What's next? Give time for yourself. Yan ang aking fifth tip. Bakit nga ba? Not only work, please do not forget to play as well. Overworking yourself or overstudying yourself will just make yourself feel like as if you're not having fun anymore. So, kahit na meron tayong overwork over, uh, over there, kailangan mo pa rin alalahanin that you need time for yourself. Have some cup of coffee, talk to a friend after let's say an hour or so by setting your deadline. Sa aking tip number two, di ba? May timeline tayo. So, yeah, do that. Number six, by setting time for yourself, that means the number six tip is to take your break. By taking your break, kasi sabi ko lang kanina, you can take a cup of coffee, just rest, sit down, have fun, and perhaps check your Facebook this time. Just take a break. Para naman alam mo that you deserve that kind of break, hindi kilang puro work. Number seven, let's say you did all of those things, but then you seem to be unproductive pa rin. Maybe because you're doing the easy ones muna. My seventh tip will be to get the hard things done first. 
Meaning, kung ano yung pinakamahirap, yun mo na yung tatapusin mo bago ka pupunta sa easiest. So, this might look weird to you, but then, working on the hard stops at first would mean to say na kaya mo pala talagang gawin. Hindi lang kalokohan and etc. So, getting the hard things done will ease the work when you go down to the easier ones. Diba? And number nine will be to stick to your goals and do your act upon your goals. That is meaning to say, in simpler terms, do your goals as you stated them on your list. Bakit? Kasi useless lang naman ang pakikinig mo sa vlog na to or sa kahit ano pang articles online if you don't do the action. At the same time, class, class, <laughs> At the same time, what I'm trying to say is to stick to your goals, meaning kahit na marami pang distractions dyan, maraming laag invites, remember that your goal is to finish your task for the week. Especially for students out there. Alam ko ang dami ninyong requirements, ang daming demand ng ating um, teachers, studyante din naman ako at dumaan ako dyan. That is to really know your priorities. Pwede namang makahintay ang kasiyahan for the weekend or after your classes. But remember, when it's class time, when it's task time, when it's requirements time, do your thing. Because nothing can beat a person who is trying his best to do things and get things done. Okay guys, among the 9 tips, ano nga ba yung favorite tip ninyo? Or do you have any suggestions or any other tip na aside sa binigay ko? What do you think? Comment your thoughts down below and I think dyan na ang aking tip giving for staying unprocrastinated. I will see you on my next vlog. Thank you for watching!